A funeral mass is very important in the remembrance of a passing of a member of our community. Because of this, reverence and dignity should be shown in your preparation, service, and attitude throughout the Mass. The three times that a funeral Mass is primarily different from a normal Mass is during the introductory rite, the communion rite, and the recessional. For the entrance procession, the servers process to the baptismal font first and stand next to the side doors facing the center aisle. After the blessing of the casket or urn, and the covering of the casket by the pall, the casket goes to the center, and usually the servers lead the procession to the altar. Mass then proceeds as usual, except that someone may say words of remembrance at the beginning of Mass. At some point, probably during communion, before the prayer of communion, the coals will have to be lit, and the incense made ready to be brought out. The funeral attendant will prepare the coals. Following the prayers after communion, there is a final commendation in which the incense is used, and the casket or urn is incensed by the presider. After the final commendation, the priest will signal the servers to go down the center aisle a little past the casket and turn and face the front of the church. When the funeral director signals the priest that they are ready to process out, the priest and all the servers turn together and begin the procession to the narthex. The incense bearer then leads the recessional to the narthex, where the pall is removed from the casket. With great dignity and solemnity, the servers lead the priest and casket to the hearse and stand there while the casket is placed in the hearse. Then the servers go back to the sacristy. Everything about a wedding is similar to that of a normal Mass, except for the entrance procession, blessing of the rings, and the recessional. The entrance processional is similar to that of a normal Mass, but varies from wedding to wedding. Sometimes the procession starts at the side entrance to the church, and sometimes it starts as usual from the back. Follow the directions of the presider. After the homily, the presider will call the wedding party to the altar. This is the signal for the servers to be ready to hold the ritual book and for the other server to hold the aspergillum and the bucket for the blessing of the rings. After the exchange of the rings and the vows, the mass proceeds as a Sunday mass would, except for that the final procession, the servers exit through the side door to the sacristy as to not take attention away from the wedding party.